Okay, I don't normally do videos or blogs, but I got a little frustrated today while I was trying to figure out how to get a new bushing onto an old eyelet shock absorber. So I went through the process of, uh, you know, doing the Google, doing the Bing, trying to find out who's out there, who's done it. I've seen a lot of different solutions, different ideas, different concepts, but bottom line was I just couldn't find something that actually worked. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make my own video, and I hope that this helps somebody like myself down the road kind of cut, uh, cut the corner or short circuit the process. Um, anyway, um, I'm not scripting this. I'm doing this real time. I just got through doing this uh, bushing right here and the other shock just like it. I just got through doing it as well and this process works. I, I, I love it. So basically what I did, and I'll just start take you from the beginning, is basically obviously clean this, clean out the old one, make sure it's good and clean on the inside. Um, these are energy suspension, don't use anything else. I take I used to be a four-wheeler, now I'm a street rider. Don't do any, don't use anything else. Um, I take my uh, this is a four-inch by half-inch bolt. Uh, as you can see, there's room in here for it to play around a little bit because you got to remember you're going to have to compress this some so that you can get it into this island. So first things first, just basically take it, slip it on there like that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a trusty handy hose clamp. Went to the part store and got me a hose clamp. And I'll slip it on there for the time being. And I'm going to push this up into this. I've got two washers on this other side just to kind of give me a little extra stability. And then of course the nut on the other end. Get that short up real good. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grease it up real good with some uh, silicone. Get it good and soaking up there and just kind of get it in place. Now I'm going to take this hose clamp and I'm going to tighten this hose clamp as tight as it can get. Uh, actually not as tight as it can get, but I'm going to get it pretty tight. I don't know how many other people like yourself, if you're watching this, how many of you sat around going, man, I wish there was a better way to do this. I've seen guys say you need a BFH, a big freaking hammer, uh, to drive this in there. I've tried that. I spent an hour earlier screwing around with this, trying to figure out how to make this work with a hammer and it just wouldn't work. So I came up with this idea. So next thing I do is obviously get it on the Titan, get it in place, and ratchet it up. I go through a few motions here, and what will start to happen is you'll see this band clamp, you'll see this thing start slipping back toward this side as I'm tightening this, which is a good sign, right? Because what it's doing is it's seating into that eyelet. So, I go through this a few times. I'm hoping you guys can see what I'm doing. But this is kind of an ongoing process. It takes a little bit of time. But once I get through it, I get to a certain point where it's obvious. It's obvious. You can see how the band clamp has already moved to a pretty good portion of this. So that means that that knuckle is actually inside the collar, inside the eyelet right there. So what I want to do is I want to take that now. I'm going to... Take the nut off. It's going to disassemble this basically. And then the next step, just take your band clamp off. Thank goodness for silicone because the wonderful thing about that is everything is just working smooth. Alright, now what you'll see here is you'll see how that knuckle is actually inside the eyelet. So we're in good shape. Now what i got to do is I take it over to my bench vise here. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. There we go. Okay, and just take it and hope your volume isn't up too high. Bingo. It's in. Neoprene washers seated in old eyelets without having to split them. Well, I hope everybody appreciates that. I, so I know I certainly would have if I had seen this, but uh, this is definitely one for the road. Enjoy.